Okay, shalom, shalom. Call me as Allah. Call her Loim La. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chachakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to the Aki and Achwa. That's our here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Achanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Just uh, back to the basics. For the newcomers that may be coming into this truth um, and needing to know the scriptures, you know, that shows that this particular type of lifestyle right here is, um, it goes against the scriptures and it's abominable to our Lord, Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father. Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one and the true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And so when our Lord comes, this is going to get a lot of our people destroyed. You know, because Christianity, white Jesus Christianity, which is idolatry, has, you know, taught our people that, you know, hey, you can live as you want to, um, come as you are, you know, do as I will type of spirit. And it's going to get a lot of our people destroyed. So this is Brittany Griner and supposedly her wife, Sherelle, are expecting a child, right? So it says um, Brittany Griner and wife Sherelle pregnant with first child together with WNBA star after WNBA star um, re-sign with the Phoenix Mercury. Okay, so if she's pregnant, how you think she got pregnant? You know it wasn't by Britney. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is the type of um, backwardness that comes with this lifestyle is that you don't want to do what it takes to have children for real. But you want children as a couple as if, you know, this is just uh, a natural way as well. Like, you know, and this is what America Babylon the Great pushes throughout the earth, man. And they and they generally push this on our people. That's why, you know, you'll see a lot of so-called blacks, really. Tribe of Judah. They'll be the ones that they'll have in these commercials on TV and playing these parts and, you know, making it seem as if everything is cool because they know that we have that juice. We got that that swag. We got that, um, you know, we're, we're the salt of the earth, according to the scriptures. So it, I read through the article. Of course, you know, the um, the comments, people not with it, but they push it as if everybody is just for this this lifestyle. And it's not, you know, and, and it's really forced upon the people really by Esau Edom, you know, because this is what he wants. This man is backwards as hell, man. Anything that the scripture says to not do, he pushes it in a way to do it. And he, he um, you know, he he pushes it in a glamorous type of way. He puts the, you know, the, the glitter and the, the gold to it. And, and he dingles it, you know what I'm saying? He, he just, you know, he makes it seem as if the shit is cool. He has the money to do so, the resources to do so. They put together the correct scripts. They put the, put together the, um, you know, um, the perfect actress or actor to portray these particular types of roles. And they put them on TV and they push them before the children, really. You know, really, it's the children that they're after, you know, so, you know, but the Lord is about to start judging these people, man. But it says the couple posted a surprise announcement on Instagram sharing they are three months away from baby from the baby's due date. Right. There you go. See, they, they holding hands. They got the little paternity pictures. They got the, the tattoo crosses on their hands as if they believe in a damn God. You know, which that's going off because we're not to print um, marks upon us. You know, we're not supposed to have tattoos. That that goes against the scriptures as well. You know, let me just grab that real quick. You know, we um, since it's uh, like a back to the basic, uh, back to the basics um, type of uh, lesson, so we can get somewhat of two lessons out of it. Yeah, Leviticus 19 and 28, ye shall, not, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. As a matter of fact, in the NLT, it generally says tattoo. Yeah, in the New Living Translation, it says, do not cut your bodies for the dead and do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am the Lord, Yahweh. And they, you know, double going off because they got that cross, which is idolatry, and it's a tattoo. So... I mean, you know, this is the, the nation that you're living in and it's pushed real hard in this place, man. And this is why, you know, this we know that this is Babylon the Great. This is the wicked, the most wickedest place on, on, on the planet, man. 
Says Griner and Sherelle were married in 2019 after Griner's first marriage ended in 2016. The upcoming birth of their child would be Griner's third child after she had two in her previous marriage, right? So, of course, where are these children coming from? You know they're not coming from her. She's not penetrating this woman and, 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 and leaving sperm in her. So it's all confusion, man. It says um, she had twins with her ex-wife, Glory, Glory Johnson, a fellow WNBA player in 2015, but they divorced just a year later. So how do you think, the, how, 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 did, how are these women getting pregnant? Griner and Johnson both pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct charges due to domestic violence issue during their marriage. So even you think that these, these, these people get together and they know how to treat each other and she whooping her ass, you know? And a matter of fact, they said that domestic violence amongst this lifestyle is even higher than um, heterosexual um, males and females. See? Because because the, these these women that are playing dudes, they take it an extra step because they want to be a dude. They really don't, you know, see, men just act naturally because they're men. When, a, when someone is trying to portray something that they're not, they go the extra mile to portray it and they push it to a whole nother um, limit, you know, so to speak. So these women, they're very, very aggressive. They're they're far more aggressive than than actual, you know, than than the way that men actually really, you know, act. You know, it's like even with the dudes that try and be the women. You know what I'm saying? Like they they go above and beyond with the walk, the way that they talk, the hand frisking and all that shit. Women don't act like that. You see? Anyway, fans shared their excitement. Here you go. See, fans shared their excitement for the couple's pregnancy and offer congratulations in the comments on the Instagram post. Oh, snap. Congratulations, one fan said. Yes. And congratulations, another fan said. <laughs> now, this is some beautiful news. Congratulations, y'all. A third fan said. Oh, my God. Yes. The best news. Congrats, a fan. A fourth fan said. The exciting news comes soon after Griner signed her new contract. Okay, so you get the point. We don't have to go all off into, you know, they're going off into her career points and all that other shit like that. Now she didn't get no she didn't get enough of 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 of, of being in Russia in jail. The Lord allowed her to come back, you know, because they could have really kept her ass there, you know, for quite some time. They could have because they don't play that shit over there in Russia, you know, as far as like drugs and things of that nature. You know, they you know, America talks all kinds of shit about a lot of these countries like Russia and China, but they have order. That's one thing you can't say they don't have. They have some. They have far more order than than some place like America, man. Because America is out of control, and and it's the and I always say it, man. It's the it's the only place where you can legally, rightfully self destruct. <laughs> you can you can you can self destruct here, man. Legally, they got every tool that you at your disposal to 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 help you self destruct from drugs to 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 you know women or men or you know. Uh, just everything I mean you can you can you can go and eat what you want you can praise who you want you can you can bow to who you want you can marry a damn tree you can marry a couch you can marry your car you know all this different just weirdo shit and it's all by design pretty much from Esau Edom the so-called white man look at look at what's going on in the world man this is why this man has to be taken out of power he's the one that's pushing stuff like this now when you go to the comments nobody's with this shit now them four, they got four comments from the Instagram post. But when you look at all these comments, man, nobody with this shit. You might, I ain't seen, I didn't see one. Maybe it's, I'm sure it's a, a a a smidgen or two. You know, one or two, three, maybe possibly. Okay, so this was a this is a new one, just coming in within six minutes. See, congratulations to both of you. This person says to each his own. See, if you're saying to each his own, what you're saying is you agree with this shit. And you'll have a person sitting there like, well, I, it's not my lifestyle, but they should be able to love who they want to. No, you should be against that, man. The scriptures talks, it talks about to love the Lord is to hate evil, man. You're supposed to hate evil. Let me see, I was just saying, just reading that a little while ago. And I'm not sure how it's worded. Matter of fact, let me see. I think let's go to Psalms. I think it was 97. Yeah, man. You agreeing with this shit? 
Oh, to each his own. Nah, bro. Nah, you, we supposed to be speaking up against this, man. Yeah, verse 10. Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love the, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He, pres he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. See? You see them sitting there holding hands with their little tattoo cross. You, they'll tell you that they're Christians. But if they love the Lord, they will hate evil and wouldn't be together like that. See? So it's, it's you know, that, but that's white Jesus Christianity. That white Jesus Christianity is going to get a lot of our people destroyed. Um, what's that other one? I'm trying to think if it's in Psalms 27. Let me see here. Salakia. I love the Psalms, book of Psalms, man. No, that's not it. Uh... Yeah, anyway, so lock here. It was another one that I... May not be able to find it, but anyway, hey, you supposed to, you supposed to hate evil, man. It's like you. Anyway, let's let's move on though. I wanted to get the the scriptures that actually goes off into this. We'll get it in the Old Testament and the New Testament, because you'll have people that'll say, "Oh, well, that was the Old Testament. Times have changed." You even had this chick, K. Michelle, ranting about how it's so you know a person, the Bible, you know, it, it, you know. She doesn't believe the Bible, basically, when it comes to um, that particular lifestyle. She was going on a complete rant. <laughs> Real, defend, you know, defending it to the core. Leviticus 18 and 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. And that can, it's not just talking about man on man. This is talking about woman on woman as well. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And see, the Lord is merciful. He's long suffering. But you, hey, give it a moment. Hey, and, and, and in the meanwhile, if they if, if they live to when things really hit the fans, they're gonna be you know torched anyway. They're gonna be hit with that that nuclear fire, man. Burnt with fervent heat, along with those babies that they they supposedly got. The Lord not playing that, man. But let's go to the New Testament and let's get it. Go to Romans, and this is for you new um, brothers and sisters that's coming into this truth. You know, you can pull these script, write these scriptures down, and you'll know where to, you know, pull them at when you know defending the gospel, so to speak. We ain't out here gonna be debating with nobody, but you do have a lot of um, Christians. They, they, a lot of people just don't know that it's in the scriptures that you know you. They don't know the scriptures. They don't know the ones that actually tell them no. Don't, don't live like that. You're not going to make the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, being an effeminate, you know? But this is Romans chapter 1. Let's start at verse, let's get to the point. I want to read it. I'm going to read it in the NLT, the New Living Translation. That is why Yahweh abandoned them to, to their shameful desire. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. And, and really, in reality, I mean, sex, all they can do is just, you know, you, you, you know, they put on the strap on or, you know, kissing areas and, you know, scissor it and, you know, rub up against it. You know what I'm saying? But there's no real penetration with, you know, as far as, you know, with the man. Hey, he, hey, he got that, 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 that rod and it's meant to go up into the, 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 the JJ, man. It's just, it's simple, man. Okay. But it says, and the men. In, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burn with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with with men did shameful things with other men, and as a result of this sin, they suffer within themselves the penalty they deserve. So it's you know, and, and you see it on a day to day basis, man, in the news. They try and make it seem as if you know trans black woman. No, that was a nigga, man. That was out here. Then trick some dude into thinking that they was a real woman. Got to the hotel, seen that they didn't have the same, seen that they had the same plumbing, and, and and that'll piss a real heterosexual man off. That'll take hey that you 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 want to send somebody you want to send a nigga over the top. 
because it's it's really very deceitful. It's it, you know that that's that, that's a, like a that's that's a robbery. That's beyond a stick up with a gun, man. That's like a robbery of of, of your your mentality, your your spirituality, <laughs> you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just so deep down within you, like this motherfucking fucking war. It sends you there, and you think that when some of these, you know, these people go to court, their lawyers will argue, you know, that fit to rage. You know what I'm saying? Of you know, just spontaneous. It wasn't like something premeditated, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? But damn, it's like. They never, I've never seen a case where they, they they putting it on the person that didn't tell them that that was the lifestyle that they was into. They just make it seem as if, oh, whatever, I mean, no, but they're a woman. They don't have to tell you. No, you should be letting a motherfucker know, like, hey, look, man, I still got a rod down here. You know? This motherfucker going to stand up right along with yours. And we get going, you know, yeah, nah, man, because that's a dangerous and they're not promoting it. They're not saying it. They're not. You, you if you're going to live that lifestyle, you think that these people be telling you, hey, look, that shit dangerous. You you might want to, you know, well, actually don't do it. First off. <laughs> but, you know, they got these people out here really thinking that they're fucking, you know, these these different hookups. And they're hooking up with heterosexual, you know, really from the men's side. That's where a lot of the, um, you know, the deletions or the unalives come in at. Because those men, man, they, 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 they be pissed, man. For real. Anyway, I wanted to touch on this. And also, it's that other scripture that talks about the effeminate. You can believe that uh, uh, you can believe that bullshit you want that the Christian church telling you that you're saved by grace and that the Lord won't destroy you or the Lord is he loves every damn thing you do. You believe that shit you want to. First Corinthians six and nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor abusers of them of themselves with mankind. Matter of fact, let me go into that. We can get the New Living Translation on that verse. Verse 9 in the New Living Translation, it says, Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Don't fool yourselves. This is what I'm telling you. I just said, hey, don't trick yourself, man. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality, right? Or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusers or are abusive or cheat people. None of these will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So, hey. Again. Come out of those Christian churches with white Jesus, that idolatry, because that's idolatry. A lot of our people are going to be mainly destroyed before that spiritual um, adultery. Because that's spiritual adultery, man, you know what I'm saying? White Jesus, the Lord is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy, and his name is not Jesus. The letter J didn't even, didn't even exist when the Lord walked the earth. That letter J is only 500 years old. It was invented in 1524. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could his name possibly be Jesus when the letter J wasn't even invented until 500 years ago? So you got to look into these things, man. You got to, you know, research. You can Google it if you don't you don't believe me. Google it. Just ask Siri or some shit. When was the letter J invented? You're going to see it was by, I think the guy's name was Tresino in the 1500s, man. And actually the letter J was interchangeable with the letter I. See? So that's another lesson as well. But, hey, you know, just wanted to go off into the main points of this. Um, This person says, top headlines, my cat had kittens. <laughs> this person says, how can a woman get pregnant with another woman unless an artific art artificial insemination was done? It is not possible for two married women to bear a child. You know how exactly how if not do your research. Hey, wait, this person says nasty fucks. I thought that was Jackson Mahomes. Golly. Hmm. Nasty. I don't believe this happened the old fashioned way. No, he didn't. Says, and I think Biden get this anti American piece of work free and left Americans in Russia to rot. <laughs> this person says, How? Who's the lucky dad? Yeah. 
This person says she strapped one on. Wow. Wow. Who does the other baby belong to that you carried onto the basketball court before Russian prison? Uh, boy, I tell you. Anyway, you see, <laughs> you see what it is. Hey, the majority of the people, they're not with this, man. Where's the dad? Who is the sperm donor? Brittany is the one that got her pregnant. Wow. Who got her knocked up? Damn sure it wasn't the one she's supposedly married to. I mean, it is what it is, man. But the, but but you see how they word these stories? They're not going to tell you that, you know, they went through the process of, you know, um, that women generally go through to, you know, get pregnant. Hell, they even got articles where both of the women are getting pregnant. The one that's playing the dude and the one that's playing the woman at the same time off some dude's sperm at a sperm bank or some shit, man. So it's all confusion. And the Lord is not the author of confusion. That's confusion. The Lord made male and female. You know? They got the saying, well, you know, the Lord made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. But you can clearly see, yeah, this chick, man, she, she, hey, she, she's, t she take, she take, she, take, she, she took it all the way there trying to be a damn dude anyway i just wanted to touch on that those are some of the scriptures that um come to mind when you know uh basically you know contending for the faith the gospel man the real truth in case somebody run up on some bullshit you know what i'm saying and you got the scriptures now they yeah, a lot of the times they're not going to accept it it don't make no difference but them script because them scriptures gonna cut their asses gonna cut them to the bone whether they agree or not you know it, it you see it generally brings out the demon in them People be pissed, man, when you bring out the scriptures. Oh, well, I don't believe in no God. You know, soon as the, you know, and, and, but they'll tell you they're Christians, though. A lot of the times they'll tell you they're they Christians. But um, as um, Elder Malcolm was saying in Chicago, he would always say, you know, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. And that's true. That's a true saying. There's a lot of people, man, they don't know. They don't know nothing about the scriptures. They, they don't know. Uh, uh, they can't show you a scripture where it talks about the Lord says that you can do that and it's illegal. But we can show you plenty of scriptures where the Lord said, nope, your ass is going to be destroyed. And that's that's that's, you know, a real shame on these churches because they, they, they allow these people in the church come as you are. They're not addressing the situation. They're not telling them from the pulpit. They look, man, you're going to be destroyed if you do. You, you know, you don't get away from that lifestyle. You better repent. They're not telling these people that. The church is filled with them. The damn choir, the choir leader, the damn preacher. In a lot of cases, you got um um LGBTQ churches and shit now with 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 you know um stud pastors and you know, all kinds of shit going on right now. So you have to know that we're in the last days and that um you know this is the, real wickedness is going on in the earth, man. Everything is is out of course, man. Like for real, for real. This place is 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 at a state of no return. <laughs> Only thing that can be done is it it has to be nuked, man. And it's coming soon. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola.